We were close to naked in our cut-off blue jeans, chasing fish and frogs, mud on our sunburned backs. <coughs> Levi and I were happy with our childish play. We were doing what we did best, and that was what others might consider not much at all. What you all doing? Two sugar-sweet voices came to us from nowhere. You boys are making a mess, one of the girls in her slow southern Texas drawl said. Y'all look like pigs, giggled the other. First one of the girls, then the other teased us. I heard every one of their words. You ought to be fishing. You're going to make a mess of yourselves. Why aren't you fishing? I wanted to turn away, wanted to run off, leave Levi and every bit of my past behind me. I was ashamed of being caught at childlike foolishness. I hadn't grown much. Maybe at 15, I was still in a boy's body. My brain commanded my body to take flight, but my body didn't move. My mind told the immature adolescent to run, but the man inside me, it wouldn't move. With these girls taunting, it was the masculine male that control, in control, and I was left to think what I would do after I would do it. Since I couldn't move, I really had no choice. I would have to act like a man. After all, it hadn't been that great of a childhood. Maybe being an adult would be better. We're going to trap the fish before they can swim into the lake. My announcement sort of fell dead. <coughs> then Levi looked at me, surprised, and nodded an approving go-ahead. It didn't matter if what I had said made no sense. Arguing the ridiculous for these girls was so manly. You can just stand there and you can help. I squared my shoulders and stood as erect as possible and let them look at me. If you both try really hard, you might be strong enough to push that rock down here. Oh, I don't think so, one of the girls, the blonde one. We're ladies. We won't wallow in the mud. So the rock? The rock's too big? It's too heavy for just the two of you? That's okay. My friend and I will come up and you can watch us push it down here. A short pause and the blonde girl said to her friend, Say, you come on down here, help me. By the time Levi and I got to the rock, the girls were covered with the wet, smelly moss of the underside of the rock. It moved, the rock slid, and all four of us fell behind it into our newly made pond. The blonde girl, Mitzi, her cousin, Shay, Levi, and I spent the rest of the morning playing house as we added sticks and stones to our damned entrapment. Thank you.